Hello, this is Penny Twenty Eleven with my 2015 Christmas Village. Now I know this is a bit early, but I've had this set up just today, so I thought might as well video it now. Um, for the first time, I have split my layout in two, so I can have two completely separate themes going on in one go. In the past, I have used the entire layout or the entire table for the Christmas layout. But this year, it's half the space, but I think it looks okay. Now there's a story behind this, so I might as well go ahead and start with that. So, first, we'll start the back. Now over here you can see what looks like the remnants. You can see a crashed sleigh, and this rather shifty looking character. Ooh, for the purpose. So there, there's a rather shifty character with a catapult and a crashed sleigh. I don't suspect foul play, I'm not sure of her. Meanwhile, this completely unknown uh, minion is just sat down there building a snowman. Now that is from the minion, that is the minion snowball fight catapult set. Round the back, there's just all the medieval market village buildings, kind of just to fill some space. So, the next part of the story is that Santa, from the sleigh wreck, comes around here and enlists the help of the post office. Now these are the Winter Village series buildings. And you can see around here you've got the post office, the workshop, the bakery and the toy shop. So, starting with this, you've got all of the elves building that one's painting on the workbench and a conveyor belt pile of toys which as the sleigh's damaged I've been loading into the back of the post van with a familiar looking driver and this elf's chasing back saying that he's forgotten one in the back oh, you can see an elf Hiding away in the back, this is a helper. Go ahead and put these. Oh, go. go ahead and put these back in the post one. <coughs> so, on the roof of the post office, you can see there's someone painting the roof. On the inside, there's just a receptionist. And on the outside, there's this rather rich-looking man carrying three different presents. Presumably for children, or he might own his own toy shop. Over here, there's a woman selling flowers. And then behind there, there's a man staring into a bakery. And a mother and child coming out of the toy shop with a toy digger. I'll just collect this. That's a bandstand, nothing in there. There's a statue there. And a Christmas, the big Christmas tree. And you can see the man's fallen off the ladder, hanging on by the lights. Because the ladder's been knocked over by the reindeer. Because, of course, now that the post van's been used, the reindeer are out of the job. So they're just familiarising themselves with the locals, the local horses, and one's having a nibble at a Christmas tree. Which brings me on to this little stand, which sells Christmas trees, but rather than putting the plane, Lego trees, which it shows you on that sign. I decided I would put in some different variants of the Christmas tree that I have. So there's this one, there's this like, flat one, and there's this rather pointy one. And then just behind there, there is the railway. Now, I've had this train for a while. It's a little narrow gauge inspired train which I wanted to reuse because it seemed quite festive. It's pulling a coal car well, that's been used to fill with presents. It's carrying a passenger car. And right at the back, it's carrying. 
a brick one. And then that railway line and it splits into two, which just ends there. And that is the split line. And it's splitting the two halves. So that I don't accidentally um, build over one side. So that is about that for now. Let's go take a look at the figures. So these are all of the non-festive figures. So I'm going for closer. So first of all we have the rich, um, rich man. They were his toys that he'd been buying. We've got the post shop painter, the lady selling the flowers. I think that was the man with the Christmas tree lights. That was the girl petting the reindeer. The woman selling the trees. The man in the bakery window. Her, the woman and the child coming out of the toy shop with the toy truck. The suspicious looking man, the minion, and the snowman. So now let's go take a look at the festive figures. So these are the festive characters. We've got Santa in disguise as a postman. We've got the elf who was grilling the sleigh. We've got the elf who was painting the train, and the toy train is there as well. We've got the two elves who were on the train. We also got the elf that was chasing after the postman with a present and the elf in the back of the postman who doesn't have any legs otherwise he wouldn't fit in the back of the postman and one of these does actually happen to have an alternate face so it can look like Although well, that's not as happy as, well that's not really happy at all, so stick to that one for now. So now when you line all of the figures up, you can see there's quite a lot of them. So that was my 2015 Winter Village review, or oh, mock I guess. I do one every year and I do always do it about this early because Christmas is pretty much my favourite time of year. Um, I know it's only just past Halloween but I don't really do a Halloween layout. I could if I wanted to but I'm not overly bothered. So this will be staying here till probably after Christmas. Meanwhile I will be building on that half of the table something new which will I'll let you know with progress in these new table updates. So thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye for now.